slow moving horses, giving it again the um, attention and uh, honor that it deserves. And then of course now, for us what we see is um, the Gun Tower. Again, exactly doing the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it depends on different countries, but very much borrowing from the corner, so that anybody from the Commonwealth will understand this very well. They, they present arms, the troops in line, the quarter guard, half guard, are all things that we borrow from the um, British, which um, have served us very well. So are we trickling down from half to quarter, right? Why that uh, diminishing number? Is it yes, of course, of the numbers grow as you go up from the uh, troop in line, as you can see today. Then it goes to a quarter guard, which is actually a bit quarter guard smaller. Quarter guard, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah, and then to half guard, okay. and then all the right. full uh, guard, which is now the three services, all presented. Oh, so you begin from a quarter to half? Yes, to uh, half, and then to full. Okay. So you see all the three, the Kenya, the Kenya Defense Force band coming in to give uh, the owners and all that. Mm -hmm. Right. Let's hear from Hamidashi. Uh, uh, you know, the, uh, just a quick historical point. Uh, about Churchill, uh, you know, Jaramogi Odinga Odinga was the one who led the Kenyan delegation to the um, funeral. Uh, not a lot of people know that. Um, and um, I think the reason, uh, and I think the general is right and I'll avert to him on military matters, but I think uh, the Navy was uh, in charge of um, Churchill's funeral because uh, Churchill was um, uh, in the admiral. Uh, he was uh, in the admiral. Uh, I can't say the word. Um, he was in the Navy system in uh, Great Britain, and um, he has been a lifelong uh, Navy man, mm -hmm. and that's why he had the guard of, uh, that's why they had the privilege. Now, Deval, I want to make a point about um, the, uh, <coughs> the procession. You know, in the United States, they have, when Kennedy died, they had the horse that was not mounted, and a soldier pulling it, showing that the president had been fallen or had died or assassinated and the flag of um, uh, President Kennedy. Uh, and they played the, um, uh, the, the music uh, of, of the president called the Hail to the Chief. So the Americans, of course, have a different way of uh, doing their burial, and the British have a more stately way of doing it. The Americans have a very unique way of doing it. And uh, of course, the general is right by saying that we have borrowed heavily from the British, and as much as we, as we should, we were, we, were, we were a colony of the British. And um, I think, about this is probably one of the most dignified state funerals I've seen. I was very young when uh, I saw President Kenyatta's, uh, and President Kenyatta's funeral was um, a huge event because he was the founding father. And this is more or less nearly there, Debal. This is um, um, uh, this is something that is very special today in the history of this republic, that um, um, a generation of the people who fought for this freedom of this country have now. Um, gone. Uh, President Moy is the last of the Mohicans. Um, very few men uh, from his generation are left. And um, you know how when an old man dies in Africa it is like a library that has been burnt. Mm -hmm. And it is a privilege <coughs> and a real 